Hello, beautiful, beautiful Leo. How are you, Leo? Still Leo season. Beautiful. You know, it doesn't end for me until <sighs> Halloween. <laughs> You're in the U.S. The middle of Scorpio season. <laughs> That's when <laughs> Leo season ends to me. So, yay. Okay, so I just want to clear the energy really quick. Okay, Leo, so I have your coffee cup right here. I'm going to pull tarot and oracle, and I have your messages that I saw in your coffee beforehand. I want to talk to you about. So, okay. I saw a pond, and this pond was covered with, like, algae, okay? And so the spiritual meaning of a pond, ancient scholars use the pond as a symbol for the mind so there is something here within your mind that you are unlocking and we know that the world around us is really just a reflection of our inner world and there is something here that you have figured out how to use your mind to your advantage in this game in this simulation that we're playing called life you know, you've understood how to utilize this avatar here to unlock unbelievable uh, greatness in your life. Okay, so the pond being covered, there is something here about you being protected. You know, you walk in the forest, you find a pond, it's completely covered with algae. What's in there? Well, we don't know. We want to know, but we don't. <laughs> We don't know. It's like something has been protected, has been kept hidden from you. This could be abilities that you have, spiritual abilities, um, psychic gifts that you have. This could just be a state of being, um, different interests, different creative passions, um, different sides to your personality, different abilities that you have. It can be, you know, physical abilities too. It can be um, anything, really that it's like you're kind of putting everything together and something is being unveiled. And when you mix that with everything, there's profound change that is happening here. It was protected. It was because it's being kept pure, you know, uh, for now. There's something about now that is very important. You know, you have been through so much in your life and then now is the time, right, to move forward. So algae covering this, okay, which we know that algae provides um, a lot of, like, I don't know how much, but I think like a significant amount of oxygen for this world, okay, keeping this whole thing going. And algae, the spiritual meaning is to praise God, represents the complexity of God's creation, okay? Different patterns in algae can signify if water is polluted or not. So there could be a lot of opportunities, a lot of things that have not worked out for you, a lot of people that it's just not a match, not a match, not a match, because you're being protected, you're being shielded. Nobody wants, you know, it's like not for these people and for these situations, you are, your energy, what you're going to do. It needs to be revealed at the right time because if everybody thinks it's just a murky pond, then they're just going to keep passing it by, right? And it's not for them, so we need them to do that, right? There's something about this here. And also for you to move forward, it needed to be at the particular, at the right time. There is an overflow on your cup that was is still here okay and so there is something here it's very dark this is very solid and it drops very quickly there's like, like a good chunk here to this so this is like kind of saying that there is some kind of overflow in your life and it feels like two different areas okay there is something here that could be a little more sad than what you thought it was going to be it's a little bit harder than what you thought it was going to be but there is also something here that is going to be so much more joyous than you thought. And you're being gifted so much more than what you thought. And this is something that's going to hold, that's going to stick around. Um, 
So there is kind of an element of bittersweetness, but we'll see more about that. I saw a shark. Uh, shark means embrace change. There's change happening here. Once whatever this pond is holding, it's like within your soul. There's pieces of your soul that are pure that have been like hidden. Like angels took them when you were a child and hid them away. And now the angels are coming to bring them back to your soul. Okay, there's something here about this, about insects, about butterflies that have taken pieces of your soul and hid them in the forest. And now they're coming to give you these pieces of your soul back. And so, yeah, it was really difficult that you had to be without your soul, you know, pieces of your soul for all of this time. But this was to keep you pure because what was happening to you, it, 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 it was not meant to... Um, I feel like you have such a resilience and there's such a, um, there was like a high level of trauma that you have been through, but there is a high level of resilience. And a lot of people are like, wow, you've been through all of that. Most people would be like, you know, nowhere, you know, not functioning members of society, you know, and you are. And how did you do that? And this is just the magic resilience of you. And this is the magic and the resilience of the way that you work with this earth the creatures of the earth and god source energy so the shark is talking about embracing change and go forth fearlessly the shark literally eats your fear okay because the shark wants you to go forth with no fear i love sharks okay so the, there is something here about your fear is going to be taken from you. You're going to move forward. Um, and this is about believing in yourself even if you are misunderstood. Sharks are very misunderstood creatures, okay? We kill like millions of sharks every year. They kill like eight of us, <laughs> you know? So it's like barely anything. <laughs> so it's like, whoa here, you know? Um... There are even divers in the middle of the ocean that have formed friendships with sharks, okay? And these sharks seek them out just to like have the divers like pet them. That's it. <laughs> They're not feeding them. They have nothing to gain but like the curiosity and the friendship of interaction with another species. How intriguing is this, right? So there's like a lot of different levels to this and even showing compassion. A diver will get comfortable enough with the shark to put their hands in the shark's mouth and take out a hook that is stuck. And this took months and months and months of this connection forming. And then the shark will swim away and bring back another shark that has a hook in their jaw. And the shark will open its mouth, the new one that doesn't even know the diver, and will allow the shark to or the diver to pull the hook out, indicating that they're able to communicate as well and form trusting relationships these two sharks trusting them to say the shark was like yo this guy's gonna help you with that hook situation look at me i'm good i'm all set and this shark was like no way i gotta see this for myself <laughs> and then they did it <laughs> like what so there's so much more to this world and i feel like there are things that you see that are so beautiful that are so amazing that are so profound that other people don't see so you're kind of like a warrior for the misunderstood. Wow. That's really great. It's like a, at the pond, there's frogs, you know? And frogs, you know, you kiss a frog and it turns into a prince. It's like a misunderstanding thing, right? So there is something really amazing here. There is a person off in the distance. There's a new person coming into your life, okay? There is a new person coming into your life. I saw a person off in the distance. Okay, and this can indicate two things. One, a new person is entering into your life and they are praying to God right now to bring them someone in their life, and it's you. Or you already know this person in some way, some capacity, and the two of you are going to, like, you think it's done, it's not done. <laughs> the two of you are going to come together in a beautiful way and there is some kind of like a reveal 
And it's like, the, the time is now to do this. There could be a person that's thinking of you now. This is the situation. Maybe they've always been with somebody. Maybe you've always been with somebody. Maybe there's this, maybe there's that, maybe there's... Something is going on in their life right now. The situation right now. They're like, this could work right now. And this is what they want. So we're going to see about this. Okay, you know, this is a ship sinking and there's flares going off. So a flare is going off because they're signaling that they need some kind of help here. And this is people, this is people and they are the radioers. Oh yeah, yep, 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 yep. You know on Titanic, when they're like, Doo -doo -doo. I know that this is so technical, right? Look at me. I know so many words. <laughs> well, I don't know. SOS, you know, Morse code, whatever the thing that they're doing to communicate that they, oh, the distress call. And the, the guy, the captain is like, yeah, the distress call. We're, that's our position. And he's like, <gasps> and then there's people, other places, and they're doing it back, and they're, you know. We're communicating here, okay? There's something here about some kind of communication here is being carried over. Yeah, yep. And that's what I see. There's a hummingbird here. There's a new beginning. You could hear of something. Someone's relationship could be a sinking ship. You think that somebody is in a relationship and they're not thinking of you? Well, guess what? You're going to hear the news that actually that relationship is done. And actually, there's some kind of a new beginning that they want to have with you. And now, now, this is where I saw the person off in the distance. But now, when you look up close, there's one, two. There's like two little clumps. Like, you're with them. You see? That, that looks like two heads there. Okay, we're gonna find out what's going on. That's what. We're gonna find out what's going on. This looks like an eyeball. I feel like something is gonna be not believable to you. And this is the thing that I'm saying. Look at this tear and look at this tear. Something is gonna be sad. Something is gonna be sad, and you didn't expect it to be this sad, to affect you this much, but you need to go forth, and there could be a little period of mourning, of missing what once was, that no longer is, of homesickness, but there is even more tears of joy that are coming from what it is that you're doing, that it is so worth it. It's so worth it. So, this is, what? The bridge, the shadow. Wow. And this could be your shadow self. That's the thing is the pond could be keeping your shadow, you know? And now it's time for the two to connect. Now it's time for that. Wow. And there is some kind of a bridge here and there's a helping hand. You know, they're in the water here. So something here about getting some kind of help could be from a water sign. Okay. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be, but there is a way that there is going to be a helping hand in this rainbow in the beginning, in the middle here. It's kind of like, you know, after the storm, then there is a rainbow. So there is something that is kind of bittersweet, but the after effects is so much more joy that you can almost like not believe it, I wanna say. You have the father, the village. Interesting. And this card here. What's on the bottom? The vow is on the bottom. There's something here about getting back to something, you know, a pine tree here and 
their pine cones are, you know, like a seed, you know, and you can start your own forest here. So there is something here about being more than enough to start your own, right? So there could be something here. I want to look up this card because I always forget the meaning. So I'm going to pause. Okay, so it means death. How can I forget? So uh, this is talking really about there is an ending here to something. Maybe there is an extension. There is a way that um, it's like you're standing up to something here. There is something here that you have all of this strength here and you have this peace here. There's something here that it's like the village, the way that things have always been done. This can represent a lot of control here. This can represent, you know, that kind of energy of this is the way that things are here and you need to kind of fall in line kind of energy. And this is the death of that. That's really what this is. Um, wow. Wow. And you've been getting the vow a lot lately with the eternal child here. There's something here about you are kind of restoring yourself. Okay. I want to get more cards about this. And going forth, there's something here about leaving something behind with this death. You know with the um with the shark here it's like going forth and being fearless because there's something here that's familiar and it's not fulfilling and you weren't allowed to be free in this you know you weren't allowed to be all that you are you had to hide pieces of yourself now you have collected all the pieces of yourself you have healed yourself and now it's time for you to move forward. And there could be something here about facing something, facing someone, hearing some news about something falling apart, about something crumbling that you had to leave this. You may have already left this to find yourself and you're finding yourself. And as you're finding yourself, as you're building yourself up, this is crumbling and crumbling and crumbling. And cr yeah, that's what I mean. Like this, as you go up, this goes down. More so, more so, more so, more so, until it is completely done. And this is the free freedom, the liberation. This is the bird set free. This is like, see a, a bird set free. You healed yourself and you're moving free. So this shark, then it can be kind of scary to go forth because what you have come from is not good, is not... Um, that's not the right word, but you can't go back. <sighs> you can't stay to anything that is known. You have to go to unfamiliar. You have to go to completely new territory. You have to completely start again. And how many times have you had to do this in your life? You know, but this one is a big one, you know, and this is why the shark is here to represent this fearlessness. You're going to be fearless like the shark. You're going to do this. This is great. Okay, let's see about this now. Let's see a little more. What? Okay, you have a fair man. Dealings or relationship with a man with blonde or gray or white hair. Okay. And then you have the younger woman dealings or relationships with the younger woman. So this can be um, people that you are moving away from, people that you are protecting yourself from. I usually like to take this as a divine masculine. This is a divine feminine, but it can be, you know, any gender of person. We'll see more when we um, clarify with tarot. But you have the candle here, which is you will be shown the way. Wow. And this is kind of this dynamic here of this is this dynamic here of a person that is older <clears throat> or a person that thinks they have more authority over somebody younger. So this could be you. 
And this could be somebody else. This is just representing them. I have a ram here, a stubborn, aggressive person. And this is the father, the father figure. But it's a person in authority. And they're trying to dictate how everything goes down. It could be an Aries person. They do not have to be. There could be something significant that happened between you and this person during this past Aries season, which would be March into April. March, April, May. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So... The crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. There's something new here that you're doing. There could be something that is trying to pull you back to this village here. There could be a next generation that you are protecting from this person here. There is something here where there is solid evidence of you moving on without this. And this could be a way that somebody is trying to manipulate you, this new thing that you are doing, or um, something here that they're giving birth to, but you don't need it. You're like, no, I'm, I'm moving forward without that. Wow. The archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and our paths are opening up. And this is how you have the vow. This bird set free. New opportunities are opening up for you. New things are happening for you. And this person, it's getting worse. And I feel like they're very stubborn. They're refusing to heal. This August, something is coming to a head in August. You're going to hear about this. Could be around the full moon. I want to say it's in five days, but that seems so soon. A sincere wish will be granted. There is a person here that's very prideful that you should be wary of. Okay, I want I need to see more about this. I want to understand this more, right? A sincere wish will be granted. Someone is wishing for you. You're wishing for someone. They're wishing for you. Both of you are wishing for each other. Could it be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Doesn't have to be. Well, we'll see. You're leaving something behind. And you're not looking back. And it's only going to continue to get better for you as you do this. And you're going to hear about a downfall. You're going to hear about a demise. It's the, sip, the ship sinking. The SOS call. The death of this old ways here. Old ways, old ways, old ways. Be careful of anyone that all of a sudden wants to make up, wants to make things right, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't mean you can't forgive them, right? But doesn't mean you need to allow them back into your life, right? Because there's just this weird energy here. Look at this. You have the sun. You're cl you have clarity here. Look at this. You have the four of wands. There is a huge celebration. Beautiful new things are coming in for you here. Look at this. Those wish being granted, new opportunities and paths opening up, birth of conception or a new child or enterprise. You have beautiful things that are coming here for you. And this is because you have vowed to your connection to yourself, to the divine. To healing your own inner child. And yeah, that means that people are going to have to be left behind that are choosing not to heal theirs. And, you know, your path is not like anyone else's. So, you know, you can't follow anybody else's path. And that's just it. It could be a person in spirit, something that you have lit a candle for that is guiding you. That wants you to know, hey, you can do this. You're going to do this. It's going to be great. So don't you worry about that. Mm. 
magician. Your manifesting capabilities are out of control. What you have been wanting to manifest is going to manifest. And there could be times where you think of these people that you had to leave behind. And that could hurt your heart. But all of these new blessings that you're coming into in your life, they can't be a part of this because it wouldn't be a blessing. It would be another thing that would be a death. It's like they're doing things that like everything we do, everything that happens to us is a manifestation. We're just trying to do it deliberately. Well, there's people that are deliberately, whatever they do, it becomes like a death of sorts, right? A decaying. And they were just putting it off on you while you were around. Now you're not around, so the energy has nowhere to go. So their life is becoming this death. So they're finally facing the bed that they have made. They have to lie in it. There is no choice. Look at this. Something you're doing is going to take off. Out of control. There is an amazing passionate opportunity here for you. It's going to be really good. This could be something here where you're really interested in something, in learning something, gaining more knowledge. You're really um, admiring something really amazing here. There is something that inspires you and you want to learn more about this. And this it, it ignites your own passion. And you can just feel this from within your soul. You just know that it's going to be good. And while you're exploring this, while you're in this energy is when this particular person coming into your life is going to be showing up here. And this is where this wish is going to be granted. And this is where, you know, you're walking through this archway. You're not coming back anymore. Look at the Queen of Swords and look at the Ace of Cups. You could be a little hesitant at first about this situation. And I, but I feel like you're going to be very excited about it, but you're also going to be I want this person, you know, to show me. <laughs> but I feel like you're going to be shocked by how clear you are about this love, about how this person feels, about what this actually is. And almost like pinch me, is this too good to be true? This is a love that will defend you and they will defend your dreams you know, your wishes, they will respect it. The same way that you have always done for everyone else. You've always done this for other people. Have other people done this back to you? No. And this is a person that inspires you to reach for more and you inspire them to reach for more. And the two of you, you defend this love. And there could be a lot of people that you have to defend this love to because that's Queen of Swords energy. Oh yeah, it is. Could be an Aquarius person, a Libra, or a Gemini, but it doesn't have to be. But you know, just like Jack and Rose on Titanic, they had to defend their love to pretty much everybody. <laughs> and she had to leave everything behind. She had to leave her mother behind, you know. But it's like if she would have stayed, that would have been an absolute death for her, and her mother could give two craps about that, <laughs> you know. So it's like, okay, well, if you're gonna go against me, I have to leave. <laughs> You know, so there's something here about that, you know, and this very stubborn person and, you know, there's a new way that's a better way and you're going to go for it and you're going to get it. And just the way, you know, Jack inspires Rose to, you know, go horseback riding and, you know, learn to spit, I don't know, <laughs> all this kind of stuff and, you know, she inspires him to reach for more in life, you know, to strive to have some kind of stability, right? So there's different ways. Wow. And that's the thing, the wish being granted and the nine of cups. It's a wish fulfillment, the two of you being together. And this is kind of feels like, look at this. What a victory that is going to be seen, the two of you being together. 
you're going to get a way to celebrate this and you're going to kind of like not believe this like oh wait a minute no good things like this don't happen to me no actually they do they do don't say that don't ever say that great things happening to you happen to you all the time amazing beautiful things are going to happen to you all the time they are now they already right are right now Shush, i can't even talk today the queen of pentacles you know she has people that she can trust. Everything that she touches turns to gold. She nourishes something until it just flourishes, you know? And she has so many connections. And she allows things to come to her. And whatever comes to her, she just turns it into greatness. She just helps it grow. She has this admiration. And this admiration is reflected in immense loyalty in her subject she is like a beloved queen you know there's something here about this where you're finally going to get to be seen in all of your glory there's something very enchanting about this entire reading the entire reading a water sign I'm asking who is this person there is a person that is up at night thinking about you this person is stressing about this situation there is something here did they hear about you did they hear some news about you there's something about this long distance with the ship and the SOS did they hear about something horrible that happened to you was there a miscommunication and you never got to tell this person and it was because of this situation and then all this time later they found out and there's a distance between you and this person this is giving me this kind of energy you know um and there's something here where this person, it's like they're going to get to this point where they need to just step forward and say it because they can't hold back any longer here. And this could be a person that you meet this person and they feel these intense emotions and they can't stop thinking about it. They've never felt something like this before. And there was a time when they hoped and prayed for a situation where they would receive the nurturing and the compassion that they give to others. They would also receive that. And you are the answer to that. But Yowzer, this is your karma here. You have beautiful karma. You have waited. With the three of wands, you have been waiting. And you have been waiting. And you have been waiting. And you didn't complain. You know? And you think it's not happening. And it's kind of like everything is going to happen all at once. But you're leaving behind everything that you know. Everything that is familiar. And this person is completely new. They're not like anybody else. You're not like anybody else. Where you're going to be, what you're going to be doing is not like anything else you've ever been doing before. Everything is completely new. Fearless. I'm telling you. This person is going to respect you like who you are inside as a person your fearlessness what makes you who you are this person respects this and this person is fascinated by this and there is this drive within their soul there is something here that they are just driven to this connection to you it's kind of like all roads lead to you Someone could have been hiding feelings for a long, long time and not saying anything since you were young. This is, this could be like Sweet Home Alabama. And they're kids and they're in love, right? And they say nothing, both of them, all this time. But there is a reason. There is a journey that you had to go on. There's a journey that they had to go on. There is a person, especially with this person, it's like your trauma and their trauma is so parallel. The people that they were, the lessons that they had to learn, it's just like, wow. You were both kind of learning the same lessons. You both kind of went through the same thing. 
and it's just like it would just be so perfect but somebody does somebody think that somebody is not available for a particular reason and it's not true or somebody thinks that somebody doesn't have feelings maybe both of you think that the other one doesn't have feelings but you do you both freaking do king of wands and the hierophant and look at the six of swords leaving behind everything that you have ever known and this person they're coming forward here they're coming forward and this is an amazing connection you're gonna be shocked people are gonna be shocked by this nobody is expecting this but you have been hoping for this and you have been praying for this This is very shocking news. I feel like you've done some things in your life that really shock people. You you know, you're that kind of person. You're revolutionary, you know. This person too. It's like you maybe you're leaving, but they're coming after you. <laughs> like they're coming to find you. You think you have nothing to go back to and oh, they're here. How romantic is that? Wow. It's like sudden celebration. You were kind of prepared to go off on your own here. This is how I know because the message is completely starting over again. It's done. I just want to keep going, but it's done. There's people that are trying to keep you trapped in a way, but you have regained your health here. This is like uncovering this pond, pulling back this algae. You don't need this immediate gratification anymore. You don't need to be around people that, you know, there's drama and there's all this talking and manipulation to keep things exciting. You know, when you're healthy, this kind of stuff, it's just like nothing to you. And that's the thing is then you have bluff here. So there's something here that people are kind of expecting you to do, still be the same old person and play along in the same old game with the father in the village here. And you're not. You're saying like, nope, I'm not going to do that anymore. You're going towards your fulfillment. You're going towards your riches. And there is a lot of crazy things that are coming into your life that it's like unbelievable. That's what this tower is about. There is shocking blessings. And look at this publicity. Everybody is going to see all of these amazing blessings that are coming into your life here. Adaptability. And there is a person here that wants to have this authority over you, but now they're going to see you in authority. And the new authority is adaptable. It's not like rigid, the old ways. And this is why you're getting this fortune here. You have figured out this inner engineering to get this fortune, and then now that's why you have love. That is based on a friendship. What? SOS. Wow. Something is going down. Somebody could be in a relationship that they, they're not being fulfilled in that. They're just there because they're there. They're just going through the motions. They have been. And they're, they, could, they could be the one also that's shocking everybody by, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not do and everyone could be like, this person is crazy. They're going to go off and do this, you know, and then they're looking at you. They had these feelings all along. All along. 
Like at the end, she doesn't marry the other guy. She just can't do it. And there's nothing wrong with that other guy. It's not about that, right? It, this is about what's right is right. What the heart wants is what it wants. And somebody wants you. And they're coming for you. Oh, yeah. And you don't see this coming. All this amazing blessings. You're just like, okay, I found a little piece. I'm so excited about that. Look at this beautiful pond. How enchanting. I just discovered this. I'm really happy, you know. I'll just drink my water. I'll just eat a little food and then I'll go to bed and I'm happy to be alive. No, that's not it. A, an explosion of magical things are coming into your life. Fulfillment, riches, fortune, love, friendship. Yeah, you had to leave some things behind and that's sad, but you're moving. Okay, I could just reiterate the same thing all day. So <laughs> I'm going to end it here. Leo, I love you guys so much. If you want to like and subscribe, I would appreciate it so much. And I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay.